What changes have been made to Microsoft's AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals exam? Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. So Microsoft have got lots of different exams, but the AZ exams are all about Microsoft Azure. Now, the 900 indicates that it is at a fundamentals level. So it really is the 101 of exams. However, they've already used number 100, so they couldn't make it 101. So this is version number 900. So it's a Microsoft Azure fundamentals exam. So you can see what it's meant to be about, about cloud concepts, Azure services, workloads, security, privacy, and pricing and support. Now, there were some updates made as of May the 5th, 2022. And to say that it is a major update is an understatement. So they have completely changed around a third of the exam. So if I scroll down and click on this download exam skills outline, there are three sections to this. So the first section is the individual skills that are measured now. And I should point out that the bullet points or examples are not meant to be exhaustive. After that, there is a table showing what has changed. And you can see all sorts of things seem to have changed, including one section which has been completely deleted. And then there's the old version. So let's just go down the old version. So this is the version as of January 2022 and see what has changed. Well, to start with, this first section describe cloud concepts, that's mostly there. Now, there may well be different words used, like for instance, identify the benefits of cloud computing, such as has been changed into just define cloud computing, and later on, what are the benefits of these things. So there are quite a lot of changes to the actual words, but the concepts are mostly there. The only one which has been deleted is describe serverless computing. If we then go into describe core Azure services, the core Azure architectural components are still there, but it is from here onwards, the core resources, that things really start changing. So the benefits and usage of things like the virtual machines, that is as is. Virtual networks, that is also as is. And storage that is also included in the new version. However, all of these databases, Cosmos DB, Azure SQL database, all of the various databases there, completely gone. So they're being tested in the DP900, but they're being removed from the AZ900. The marketplace equally has gone. So that's no longer there. Then we have a look at core solutions and management tools, and the vast majority of these core solutions have gone. Internet of Things, gone. Data warehousing, gone. Machine learning, gone. Serverless computing solutions. Well, Azure Functions is still mentioned in the May 2022 version, but Logic Apps has gone. And similarly, all the things about development collaboration, also gone. If we go into the management tools, then they are mostly there. The Azure mobile app isn't mentioned and neither is Azure Service Health. When we get into the general security and network security features, then most of this has been completely deleted. The Azure security features, that's all gone. The network security, the only thing that remains is the concept of defense in depth. And that's a bit strange because if you can imagine some of these things are being deleted, like for instance, the databases because they are tested elsewhere. Well, the concept of defense in depth is being tested in the SC900 exam. So it's a bit surprising that it's still there. When we get into identity, governance, privacy, and compliance, then the core Azure identity services are still there. The Azure governance features are mostly there. What's been removed is the cloud adoption framework for Azure. And when we get to privacy and compliance resources, most of them have gone. The only thing that remains is the Azure sovereign regions. And then finally, the Azure cost management is still there, but service level agreements have disappeared from the syllabus. So that's the deletions. And in my course, that is over 30 videos. 
Now this does mean that it is much tighter in terms of the number of solutions you need to know. Basically the entirety of this, which was a huge number, have just disappeared. So if they've gone, what has replaced them? Well, this, this is the May syllabus and we have much more in terms of benefits of using cloud services. We have reliability and predictability, security and governance. So we may not be talking about security and governance in detail, but we have to talk about the benefits and manageability in the cloud. Now, strangely, in the old version, we didn't directly talk about data centers, though for any of the rest of them, you probably need to know what a data center is. It would have been hard to talk about an availability zone without knowing what a data center was. Then when we go to compute and network servicing, so here you can see the functions are still there. What is new is the Azure Virtual Machines scale sets and also the availability sets. So you could perhaps argue, well, if you knew about virtual machines, you should have known about scale sets. And you may argue, well, you should have known about availability sets. But they weren't strictly mentioned and the old definition was just describe the benefits and usage of. So I don't think you, in a fundamentals exam you would be required to go much deeper if they didn't specify it. Describe resources required for virtual machines. So that's very explicit now. So it's not just the benefits and usage, it's now also the resources. So the application hosting options, that is still there. Virtual networking has been expanded. So we are now also looking at Azure virtual subnets, not just the nets, but also the subnets. And we're also looking at Azure DNS, the domain name system. Also defining public and private endpoints wasn't specifically specified either. When we're going to storage services, describe redundancy options. Again, that's a new addition. In addition to that, these two are completely new. So looking at AZ Copy, Azure Storage Explorer, Azure File Sync, Azure Migrate and Azure Databox. So those are completely new. In the Azure Identity, Access and Security, the Azure AD DS, again, that's a new mention. Passwordless authentication methods. So we're talking things like the Authenticator app or FIDO2. External identities and guest access is also new. And here we have the concept of zero trust. Again, that is something that's in the SC900, as is Microsoft Defender for cloud. And then if we scroll down, most of these are as per the previous exam. However, the service trust portal, again, that's something that is mentioned in the SC900 exam and the purpose of Azure Arc. So that allows you to bring into the single monitoring system things outside of Azure into Azure. So if you are using something like an online course, make sure it's up to date. There are an enormous lot of deletions and additions. So I've recorded around 20 new videos and 90 minutes of new content that you would have to know for the AZ900, but then a lot of the older things you no longer need. So I have put those at the moment into bonus sections at the end, because I still think that they are useful to know as an overview, but you won't actually be required to know them for the AZ900 exam. Now, if I can be of any help to you in actually learning all of those things, then there is a link to my Udemy course in the description to this YouTube video. Why not have a look at what you can learn? Why not have a look at the free preview videos? And I hope to see you there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this exam update video. If you did, then why not like the video? And why not subscribe and click that bell so you can be updated with any new videos? Thank you very much for watching this. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com and keep learning.